Happy Sunday morning, CrossFit HSP members. Uh, Kanoa back with a update for next week. Uh, I wanted to start out with thanking everybody that came out to the uh, Valkyries competition yesterday. All three teams did really well. Tons of pictures were taken. So be on the lookout for that stuff. Uh, I wanted to say congratulations to our team that podium in the intermediate. So great job again, ladies. Again, it was an awesome turnout. Uh, hopefully more competitions to go in the future. Uh, next is uh, just a heads up. Next Saturday, what the 10th, there will be a Christmas parade going down Main Street in Holly Springs. Uh, I think they're going to shut down the streets around 9, but just be, be aware they might shut them down earlier. So we'll post something later during the week, like the, the, the map or a website that shows you the detour that you guys can get to the gym. Uh, gym class, classes are gonna stay the same, so eight o'clock and 9.15, so hopefully there's a way to get around. Uh, again, I will post something later in the week, so be look out for that too. Uh, nextly, um, we did send, Dave did send out a member survey, so if you guys haven't seen that or haven't filled that out yet, uh, you got a little more than a week before our Christmas party, so if you have some time this weekend, if you guys could Fill that out and give us some feedback and all that good stuff. It's also really big because we want to announce the coach of the coach of the year award too. So vote for your favorite coach. Uh, nextly, oh, 12 days of Christmas workout. Some people have been asking about that. We are going to do that December 17th. Okay. It is going to be on a Friday. So be that is actually December 16th. Sorry. 17th is our Christmas party which leads me into our Christmas party. So again, 17th is our Christmas party. So again, put that on your calendar. Some of the ladies put posters up around the gym just to give you guys some reminders. And then Friday, the 16th will be the 12 days of Christmas workout. All right, so get prepared for that. And lastly, I'll go through a quick brief on this week's program. So tomorrow we start with our long workout. It is a little mixture of DT and some calories on a machine. So if you guys have never done DT, what DT is is 12 deadlifts, nine hang power cleans, and then six shoulders to overhead. So how our workout is going to flow is gonna be four rounds for time, 30 minute time cap, 15 calories for the guys, 12 for the ladies, one round of DT, 15, 12 again, one round of DT, and then one minute rest, okay? Uh, that is Monday, so look forward to that. Tuesday, we get to do some bench pressing and some bent over rows, so it's upper body strength work. Uh, we're gonna do four sets. They're gonna be decreasing reps, but increasing load. So bench press is gonna be 12, and then you'll roll over right into your barbell bent over rows of 12, then it'll go 10, 10, 8, 8, 6, 6, okay? Increase as you need and rest as you need. Then it's going to be the uh, 60 minute EMOM. We're gonna do some Turkish get-ups. So coaches, be aware on that Tuesday. If you're coaching on Tuesday, look at the coaches' notes. Uh, do a little refresher on the Turkish get-up. Uh, we'll post another video for you guys to do that. So 16-minute EMOM. Minute one, we're gonna do Turkish get-ups on uh, right arm. Minute two is gonna be some shuttle runs. Minute three, Turkish get-ups on our left arm. Minute four, shuttle runs, okay? Wednesday is some snatch balance practice. So we're gonna do a little coach led session on that. So coaches, again, that is another important day to look at the coaches notes. Uh, we're gonna do like an EMOM of empty barbell or even PVC pipe work. And then we'll give the athletes the opportunity to work up in, in some percentage work for their four by four snatch balances. And then we get to use that practice in our workout, which is, I'm super excited about this one, 10 minute AMRAP, a one hang squat snatch. One muscle up, 10 double unders, two, two, 20, then so on and so on for the remainder of the 10 minutes, okay? And then Thursday, a lot of you guys were super excited about doing the skill of running a couple weeks ago. So I put it back in there for those that didn't have the opportunity to come. So that is our skill on Thursday. We're gonna do some running stuff. We're gonna do also some 100 meter pace runs. We're not sprinting, we're just gonna pace and do the proper techniques that we learned that day. And then we're gonna use that skill in our workout. It's a little longer workout, uh, 50 minute cap. It's gonna be a thousand meter run, 75 
thrusters and then 25 bar over burpees. Okay, so that's gonna be a kind of like a moderate burner. So look forward to doing that one. And then on Friday, we have some sumo deadlifts for our lower body strength. We're gonna do four sets of eight reps, okay? We're gonna go off of our one rep max deadlift, not our sumo deadlift, because a lot of us don't have a one rep sumo deadlift. So we're gonna go off our one rep deadlift, okay? And then we have some interval work after that. Four rounds, three minutes per round. We're gonna still use that sumo deadlift, but now we're gonna do sumo deadlift high pulls with kettlebells. Uh, body weight step ups and then 10 V up, 20 V ups for some more core work and then rest the remainder of that three minutes. So you're gonna have to push that. And then finally for Saturday, we have a, another kind of a three, every three minutes, two pieces, uh, 50 slam balls split between the pair and then max handstand push ups. So after we get done with that first part, we're gonna do another 15 minute E3 mom of a 400 meter row split between the two partners and then max wall balls, all right? Well, hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Super excited for the next, next uh, week of programming and see you guys tomorrow. Bye.